Hi, it's me, Chef Marco Terranova from Sofi del Bahrain, and welcome to Simply Delicious. Today we are going to prepare a veal milanese, which we are calling as well as in Italian, orecchio d'elefante, which is meaning elephant ear. The reason why we say elephant ear, because while you, once it's cooked, it's similar to an elephant ear, okay? From the sides as well, because it looks quite big, and as well from the visual side, the visual way, because it looks like a, um, a part of the elephant ear, okay? So we will need the, here a veal, um, a, 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 a veal chop, okay, which is around 350 grams of it, okay? We will have uh, uh, some flour, some uh, breadcrumbs, some uh, uh, parmesan cheese, and then uh, some wash egg, salt, pepper, uh, oil for frying, and then butter to finish to fry, to flavor it at all, okay? So what is required again? So we will have the veal, which will be seasoning with a bit of uh, salt. And pepper. And again, from the other side as well. Salt and pepper. Then we pass, is a very typical uh, Italian type of uh, cooking. So we will pass uh, the veal chop on the white flour. We will coat it. We remove the excess, the excess of flour. Then it will go to the egg wash. We try to keep the bone as much as clean as possible because otherwise, while you are uh, frying, it will make dirty your oil. And then we'll add the Parmesan cheese on our breadcrumb. Mix nice. and then bread it. We repeat the process uh, to pass through the hex and the per crumb for a second time. So we make sure that uh, the veal eats the veal is uh, well breadcrumbed. We press the part where there is the bone because it's the thicket part and uh, it's the part where the, actually the meat will be a little bit more uh, rare than not and so not really well cooked. So we want to avoid this sensation of having a raw meat even though it's, uh, there is nothing wrong to, to cook it, uh, to have a little bit undercook the meat of the veal. Once our meat is already nicely breadcrumbed, we place it and then cook it in our hot oil. So at this stage, what we are going to do since we want to finish 
our uh, veal milanese in the butter. We will melt some butter. Sorry, there is something wrong. So, so since we want to finish our veal milanese to cook in the butter, we will melt some butter in our pan. This will keep on the side. We'll add over here a bit of olive oil. To avoid, we, the reason why we're adding olive oil over here is to make sure that uh, your butter, since it uh, contains some cream, doesn't uh, uh, touch in the, smoke, uh, the smoking point. So it, it will burn. Always will be better always to use a clarified butter, of course, because the cream is already been removed. Then we place our orecchio d'elefante in the butter to finish it up. The way I do this uh, in our restaurant uh, is a little bit different, as uh, a bit of uh, spiciness on it. So what I'm doing, I'm drying the skin of tomato and then some part of the leftover tomato, and then I will, uh, once they're getting uh, um, without any water and they're completely dry, I will adjust the powdering and I will add it into the breadcrumb. One more thing that they're gonna add on it is uh, some capers, okay, which are being hydrated as well and uh, mix with the breadcrumb itself. It's a little bit different, it's not something that is uh, more on a traditional way, but as a, a, a different touch in our, in our uh, test. It's some, we want to give as well something in our menu, in our uh, um, restaurant, something that you can find in a norm, just in a restaurant. We want something a little bit more elevated. But notice, I mean, that this one is not, uh, uh, it's not something uh, uh, good. I mean, it's uh, a, perfect, uh, a perfect dish to serve as it is, and it's uh, beautiful dishes to impress also of your guests. So we are done with the butter. We place again on the uh, absorbing paper to reduce the, 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 the re uh, remove the excess of the fat on your dishes because always fat is nothing that is uh, something pleasant to, to have on your palate. And uh, we're gonna start our presentation. Now, to finish our uh, veal milanese, we will uh, just uh, um, uh, season it with the salt and pepper, okay? Which is the process that always we are doing with our fry items. We always, drizz we always season it at last with a little bit of salt, okay? So, and uh, we will place on the center of our dish uh, a piece of lemon cut by half, okay? Which he will help us to elevate, elevate a little bit the bone of uh, the veal milanese and have uh, an effective optic of uh, um, fulfiness on, on your dish, okay? As you can see, as I called before, orecchio d'elefante, because it really, it's uh, um, remind an elephant here. Also because the sides is quite a big piece of meat, 
is around 350 grams of meat. And then to finish it up our dish, we just simply add a mixed lid salad, which is always something classical to add in your uh, uh, Italian main course, okay? We'll add a bit of olive oil in our mixed leaves. A bit of salt. A bit of pepper. A squeeze of lemon. and place it aside of our uh, Ville Milanese. Again, you feel free, feel free to garnish with uh, whatever is uh, pleasant to you, or whatever will help you to, um, uh, to represent your uh, dish to our guest, because the more uh, is looking good for you, absolutely will looking good also for our guest. So I hope you enjoy the view. And uh, again, welcome to Simply Delicious and buon appetito, grazie ed arrivederci.